I'm here. So we're gonna talk about how to save a little bit of money over a 30 day span or 60 day span. And that amount of money is gonna be $930. Um, now this idea was, uh, I guess you could say gathered from something seen on TikTok. On the TikTok video, it was saving money in increments of two for up for up to a hundred days and it'll equal up to ten thousand dollars everybody ain't got that kind of money so here's an idea if you're trying to save money and your pockets are not that big you know that kind of money every day because with this you'll actually need to save money on a daily basis you know but you may get paid every two weeks you may get paid once a month like hey and my whole idea is you know saving so it wasn't won't seem like a big chunk of money if it's being taken out because i know for me when i gotta put a big chunk of money aside a big chunk of money aside it's like oh uh, like did i work just to put this away although away is what's gonna help but essentially you also want to be able to put the money away and not have to pull from it you know because you, know, you know the old saying, rob Peter to pay Paul, you don't want to do that. You know, you want to be able to put this money away, not miss it, and just have it there for whenever you need it. Whether it's a, a big expense that came up out of the blue, a vacation you may want to take, you might want to splurge on yourself, go shopping, or whatever the case may be. So, here we go. So, what happens, is, so I'm going to start with 30 days. And... Again, like I said, it's in increments of twos. Day one is going to be $2. Day two is going to be $4. Day three is going to be $6. Day four is going to be $8. And it's basically so on and so forth. And I'm going to get through this whole little skip. By the time I finish, you will see... Um, you know, the days and how much it's gonna, how much is gonna be there. So let's get through this whole thing. I'm gonna write the whole thing out. Let's go. I was here making sure that the numbers and the lines added up and equal the same thing. Okay, so now that I have all the numbers listed uh, from day one all the way up to day 30, $2 going all the way up to $60, I'm now going to write down from day one to day seven how much it's going to be. And that is $56. Uh, right? And then for day eight to day 14 is $156. i am sorry, $154. Right? And then from day 15 to day 21, that's going to be... Two hundred. I didn't realize stuff. that Crap. you can't even see and this stuff. From day twenty-two to day twenty-eight, that's gonna be three hundred and fifty dollars. Oops, gonna fall over. And from day twenty-nine and day thirty, that's one hundred and eighteen dollars. So now I'm going to combine all the days together, you know, that $56, that 154 that 252 that 350 and that 118 Combine all together and you get $930. I'm adding all the numbers together to total up to the $930 and I didn't realize until like maybe a few minutes ago where you see all the wording you can't see this you're about to find out here and that's 30 days and here comes and really the light bulb you, can see that. The realization. you might have to get up in there a bit but for the most part i hope you can see here and know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is how you save 930 days. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is how you save $930 for 30 days in increments of twos. Now we're gonna go and see about the 60 days. Now with the 60 days, you have a little bit more wiggle room because it's longer time and you can do it a few different ways. 
it really is up to you how you choose to do it. Let's get started. Got to erase all this first. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go right into doing the 60 days. So, for the 60 days, that gives you, I guess, a little more wiggle room, much more time. You can do it how you see. So, I came up with two different ways. Again, you can do it in whichever method you feel. Here are the two ways. Um, one is saving $15.50 for 60 days. Um, it may seem like a lot, so I'll show you this way and then I'll show you the other way that will seem like, hey, I'm not, you know, I'm not taking away from what I need. But the first one is $15.56. 50 cents. Ah, you know what I'm saying. $15.50 for 60 days, right? Um, and if you're doing it, like I said, you might get paid on a weekly basis, monthly basis, whatever the case may be. So I've only done the, did, done the numbers out for uh, a weekly basis. <laughs> so for that fifteen fifty for that week, you're going to have, I think, what's $108.50. So, but when you do that for 60 days, that's going to give you your $930. But again, that may seem like a lot of money because if you get paid on a monthly basis and you have to take out, well, let's say $108.50 for 30 days, you know, that might be a chunk of change and you got all this other stuff you got to do. So the other way in which you can do this is out of your 60 days take 18 of those 60 days anywhere in between so if you got 60 days and you only have to save money for 18 of those 60 days that could help you or you do the number and how you see fit but i did it for 18 days so if you're doing that so for 17 of those 18 days you would save 15 dollars i'm sorry 50 dollars and then the other day you would the last day 18th day whatever you want to call it you will save 80 dollars so that 50 dollars times 17 days i'm learning here let me find that's zero five zero five eight that's $850, that $50 times 17. And then if we go ahead and add that last bit, and one extra day, that's $930. So this is how, or my method, that I've taken away from the 100-day challenge. I have a 30-day challenge or a 60-day challenge. I've used both of them a few times. Um, basically, it just depends on how my money running. So depending on how my money is running, I choose which method to use, whether it's the 30 days or the 60 days. But they're both effective. 